Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna to attempt to help my fellow Warzone players with packet loss issues. Now, packet loss issues can be the difference between making a shot and missing a shot. And the techniques I'm gonna show you are gonna help you whether you have a wireless connection or a wired connection. Now, this is not gonna just help your gaming experience, but your overall internet experience. And speaking of experience, if you find these videos helpful, please consider giving us a like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. So the key things that we're gonna focus on is Disabling Windows updates in the background, we're gonna optimize your network adapter settings. We're gonna download a tool for TCP IP, and this tool is gonna to optimize the packets that are being sent from your computer. And lastly, we're gonna limit reservable bandwidth. So those are the four things that we're gonna look at, and we're gonna get started right now. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, hit the alert notification. Now, before we begin, there's a few things I want to get out of the way to make sure that they're covered. And the first thing is to always make sure that your network cable is properly seated. If you're going by a wired connection, it's plugged in all the way. Examine the cable, make sure there's no kinks in it. If there is any kinks, it's probably best to replace it because that is one big problem that you're not going to be able to resolve with software and a lot of people overlook it. Now, the next one is to update Windows. Make sure your Windows is updated. The best way to do this is just click on start and type in check for updates and then up at the top, you can see this icon here you can click on it and then you can click on the check for updates button and it'll make sure that your operating system is completely up to date and if there is any updates that are required we definitely recommend doing that before proceeding next what you want to do is make sure your drivers are up to date now the easiest way to do that is click on start and go to search and type in network connections and you see that there's a view network connections here you can click on it you might have a virtual adapter you might have many adapters including wireless ones make sure you know which one you're selecting in my case i have a wired intel network card here listed that is the one i'm going to look for so i'll just close out of this window i'll head over to my browser and go to the intel website and download the newest out drivers are available what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna disable the background updates for Windows. What you wanna do is click on start, type in Windows update delivery settings, and then click on the icon. And up here under delivery optimizations, if you go down and it says allow downloads from other PCs, we wanna make sure that we turn this off. So you can go over to the switch and then just click on it and it'll disable it. Now we're gonna scroll down and click on advanced options. And inside advanced options by default, we have absolute bandwidth and that's gonna be part of the problem. So we don't wanna do this. We wanna select the second one, which is percentage of measured bandwidth. So we're gonna select that and then we're gonna check the first box for the limit on how much we're using. And we're gonna drain this all the way down to 5%. And we're gonna do the second one all the way down to 5%. And then we're gonna to go to the upload settings. We're gonna be reducing the amount of bandwidth that's available here as well. We're going to check it and bring it all the way down to 5%. And that takes care of the background updates. So we can close out of the windows and return back to the desktop. Now we're going to modify the network adapter settings. So if you go to your start menu and type in view network connections, and we click on that, we're going to go into our adapter. In this case, I'm going to be selecting my ethernet adapter, which is the Intel one that we were talking about earlier. We're going to be selecting my Intel card right clicking on it and going to properties. And inside properties, we're gonna click on configure. And inside configure, we're gonna to go to the advanced tab. And in here, we're gonna be selecting the first one, which is energy efficient ethernet. We're gonna be selecting that and then the value, we're gonna be turning it off. So right now it's on, select off. You might have an option that says disabled. It really depends on the type of network card do you have. And anything else that's in here, you wanna disable anything related to power saving. We always want the power up full blast when we're gaming. And we're gonna go over to power management and it says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. We don't wanna save any power for this purpose. So we're gonna uncheck it and then click okay. It may prompt you to restart your computer so changes can take effect. We're not gonna restart the computer yet. We have a few more things to do. The idea here is we're not trying to save power with the adapter. We want this powered up completely into the full assault capabilities. So you can just close out of this window and we can move on to the next step. And now we're gonna limit the reservable bandwidth. And we're gonna do this by clicking on start and then you can type in gpedit.msc or you can go into the run window by holding down the Windows key and then R. Inside the run window, you can type in jpedit.msc and the group policy editor is gonna open up. 
Inside here, we want to go to the administrative templates and expand that. And underneath here, we're going to go to network, expand that, and then we're going to scroll all the way down to QoS packet scheduler, select it. And on the right hand side, we're going to select limit reservable bandwidth. We're going to enable this. And then for the percentage here for the bandwidth, we want to put in zero and then we can click on apply and OK. Close out of the window and head back to your desktop. And now for this last tool that we're going to be using here, we're going to actually have to download it. Uh, if you head over to Google and then you type in SG TCP optimizer, it's going to be the first one that's available. You can download it from speedguide.net and it's a single file that we're going to be downloading. It's fairly small. I believe it's about a meg in size. Click on it, let it download. And then what we'll do is we're just going to open up the folder and I'll copy it to my desktop or move it to my desktop so we can easily access it. We want to right click and run as administrator, say yes to the prompt. And now there's a few steps that are that are going to be here. Now the steps that we're going to be listing in here, you can just pause it and do it all the way through, or you can click in the description. We'll have a link to our blog that details each and every step. We'll also give you a little bit of a background of what each one's for. Not going to bore you with all the details. So when we're here at the main screen for the connection speed, uh, so we're going to click on custom. And now we're going to modify the settings. So we're going to select this and drag it all the way to the right. And we're going to give it the maximum bandwidth that's available. So we want to make sure that modify all network adapters is selected. The MTU, if it's not already 1500, make sure it is 1500. And now here under the first drop down list for TCP Windows auto tuning, you want to make sure it's normal. We're going to disable Windows scaling. And next we're going to select CTCP and leave the next two enabled. And then inside time to live or TTL, you want to make sure you enter in 64 here. And basically the rest of these, we're going to be disabling them all the way through. So select each one, make sure it says disabled. Okay, they're all disabled now. And then you can hit the apply changes button. Click OK to the prompt. And we're not going to start right now. We're going to click on no and we're going to continue with our changes and restart after. So if you click on the advanced tab uh, under the max connections per server, we're going to put it as 10. And then the next one we're going to put down as 10. And now for the next few files here, it's going to be four, five, six, and seven. We'll be leaving this as number two. I'll leave that as disabled. And then we're going to put in 2000 here and leave the bottom as 300. Okay. So for the type of quality of service, we're going to leave that as zero. And then we're going to put this as optimal. And then in here, we're going to be disabling this FFF. And then we want to select this as gaming. And then we're going to disable this. Next one is going to be enabled and then disabled. We're going to leave this as default size. We're going to have default as well. And the port that we're going to be putting in here is 65534. And then next we're going to type in 30. So then we can apply changes. And again, at the prompt, we can just say, okay. And it'll ask us to restart the computer. So now this wraps up our process of modifying the computer. You can reset it right now. You can restart your computer if you feel comfortable with it. If you have anything else, you want to jump back and forth, go ahead and look at the other settings that we have modified and you can do them all. You can do part of them. It really doesn't matter if you do all of them or in the sequence. These are just four steps that we found online that actually help optimize specifically for gaming. And hopefully this will help our Warzone players out there. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you can let me know what worked best for you, if you're doing it in stages, just put it in the comments below. I'm really curious to find out what's helping out users out there. I'm going to be making another video for bandwidth speed and try to get you the fastest speed as possible with modifying your window settings as well. Uh, so look out for that in the next video. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'll catch you on the next one.